Celeron, the entry level. Let's start from the bottom, the Intel Celeron. Celeron is Intel's simplest and cheapest processor. It's made for light, everyday work, like watching YouTube, writing assignments, or browsing the web. It's not fast, but it gets the basics done. Great for students who just need a laptop for notes or online classes, but don't expect it to handle gaming, editing, or multitasking. That's not its job. In short, Celeron is fine for simple work, but it's not made for speed. Pentium, the upgrade. Next up, we've got the Intel Pentium. Think of Pentium as Celeron's smarter, more capable brother, a little faster, a little smoother, and still budget-friendly. It's for users who do a bit of multitasking, maybe watching videos while editing notes or running multiple tabs. Pentium performs better than Celeron, but it's still not meant for gaming or video editing. In short, if Celeron is for basic use, Pentium is for smoother everyday work without spending too much. Core i3, the starter power. Now the real game begins, meet the Intel Core i3. This is where the Core series starts, much faster, smarter, and better at multitasking than Celeron or Pentium. Most i3 chips come with four cores, which means it can run four tasks at once without lagging. You can browse, stream HD videos, edit docs, and even play light games, all at the same time. It also supports something called hyper-threading, meaning every core can handle two tasks at once. Basically, every worker now has an assistant. For students, coders, or office users, i3 is perfect for a smooth experience without spending a lot. Medium-level gaming or basic video editing, i3 can handle it. Maybe not lightning fast, but solid enough. In short, Core i3 gives the best balance of price and performance for most people. Core i5, the balanced performer. Now comes the fan favorite, Intel Core i5. If i3 was good, i5 is a big leap forward. More cores, faster speeds, and smoother performance. Most i5 processors have 6 to 10 cores, and many support turbo boost, meaning when your system needs extra speed, it automatically boosts power for a short time, like a car hitting turbo mode. This makes i5 great for students, gamers, and professionals who want strong performance without paying a premium. You can game, edit videos, or use heavy software without freezing or lag. So, if you're someone who studies by day and games at night, i5 gives you that perfect balance between power and price. In short, core i5, core balanced power. Not too basic, not too costly, just right. Core i7, the power user's choice. Now we enter the performance zone. Intel Core i7. If i5 was made for most users, i7 is built for those who push their PCs harder. Creators, gamers, and professionals. Most i7s come with 8 to 12 cores and are built for heavy multitasking, like gaming, video editing, 3D rendering, or running virtual machines. It also packs turbo boost and hyper threading, meaning more power and faster response under pressure. Think of i7 as a team of expert workers, quick, efficient, and ready for anything. So, if you're a content creator, editor, or hardcore gamer, i7 gives you that smooth, lag-free experience you need. In short, i7 is about speed, multitasking, and raw power. Core i9, the beast. And finally, at the top of the mountain, the Intel Core i9. This is Intel's powerhouse, built for professionals, gamers, and creators who need extreme performance. Core i9 chips can have up to 24 cores and 32 threads meaning they can handle 4K editing, 3D rendering, AI processing, and heavy gaming all at once, without slowing down. It also includes thermal velocity boost. When your system stays cool, it automatically pushes the speed even higher for short bursts. In simple words, i9 isn't just fast, it's a monster. So if you're a streamer, editor, or someone who needs ultimate power, i9 is the king of Intel processors. It's expensive, yes but you're paying for unmatched speed and performance. Intel Generations. Okay, now you know the core series, Bob, but what about those confusing numbers like i5-10400 or i7-3700K? Let's decode that too. The first part, like i5 or i7, is the model. We already know that. The next two digits show the generation of the processor. For example, in core i5-12400, the 12 means 12th generation. In i7-13700K, the 13 means 13th generation. The higher the generation, the newer and better the chip. Each generation brings faster performance, better energy efficiency, and support for newer tech, like faster RAM and improved graphics. So remember, generation Durstar's performance plus new features. A 13th Gen i5 can actually beat an older 10th Gen i7 in some cases. 
And that's it. Now you know exactly what every Intel processor means, from the humble Celeron to the beastly Core i9. If this video helped you understand things better, do me a quick favor. Hit like, share it with your tech friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more short, smart explainers like this.